Hey YouTube, I'm back with another state park video, and this time we're going to have a look at Pikes Peak State Park in northeastern Iowa. Before I get into this video, I should state that this Pikes Peak in Iowa does sometimes get confused with the one in Colorado, but I'm mostly focusing on the Iowa one. The Colorado one will come at an eventual later time. This Pikes Peak State Park is located in northeastern Clayton County, Iowa, along where the Mississippi and Wisconsin rivers meet, and just adjacent to the Wisconsin border. The closest towns are McGregor, Iowa, Marquette, Iowa, and Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin. If you remember my Makokita Caves video, this is the part of the upper Midwest that lies within the Driftless Zone that did not get affected by the ancient glaciers. Pikes Peak State Park sits up on 500-foot bluffs overlooking the Mississippi and Wisconsin rivers. This unique location of Pikes Peak State Park makes it one of the most photographed places in Iowa, especially during the autumn season when this area of Iowa has leaves change colors the earliest. Again, just like my Makokita Park video, this area of Iowa has quite a bit of indigenous history. These tribes along the Mississippi were once a part of the woodland area and were mostly mound builders. In fact, there is a mound found within Pikes Peak State Park. And Effigy Mounds National Park is only just a short seven mile drive north if you're wanting to explore more of this area. Pikes Peak State Park has around 1,000 acres of land that include 11 miles of hiking trails consisting of dirt, grass, or crushed rock, a waterfall, high bluffs, several indigenous mounds, and campgrounds. A half-mile boardwalk will take you to Bridal Fail Falls and past Bear Mound. If you're feeling real adventurous, you can hike the eight-mile remote trail along the highest bluff. Four miles in will take you to Point Anne, which overlooks the town of McGregor, Iowa. Also remember to take plenty of water and bug spray while you're on this trail. Several picnic shelters, including two open gazebo shelters, are available for those who like to picnic, and the stone shelter can be reserved online. October is the busiest month for the park. Due to photographers coming to get their autumn photos, and McGregor's Arts and Crafts Festival, and Marquette's Flea Market being held within the first two full weekends of October. As for animals, you'll see your typical Midwest animals like white-tailed deer and goldfinch, but you can find pleated woodpeckers or red foxes. Late summer will bring many variations of hummingbirds. Autumn and winter bring hawks and bald eagles. If you're a photographer or a regular person who likes bird watching, I left a link in the description to the Prairie du Chien website that has a list of other little parks around the town to watch for birds. Other parks to explore around here include Yellow River State Forest, the Upper Mississippi River National Wildlife and Fish Refuge, and the Small Driftless Area National Wildlife Refuge. So that's going to do it for another state park video, and as usual, I left a link in the description for the Iowa DNR website for this state park if you're wanting to know more about this park. And with that, I will see you guys all later. Bye.